for Q1 Genesis Exodus A, language, Hebrew. Date, 125 to 100 BC Location, Qumran Cave 4. Exodus 1. 3 and Issachar, and Zebulun, and Benjamin. 5 All the souls who came out of Jacob's body were seventy-five, one, souls, and Joseph was in Egypt already. 6 Joseph died, as did all his brothers, and all that generation. 7 The children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied, and grew exceedingly mighty, and the land was filled with them. 8 Now there arose a new king over Egypt, who didn't know Joseph. 9 He said to his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. 10 Come, let's deal wisely with them, lest they multiply, and it happen that when any war breaks out, they also join themselves to our enemies, and fight against us, and escape out of the land. 11 Therefore they set taskmasters over them to afflict them with their burdens. They built storage cities for Pharaoh, Pitham and Ramses. 12 But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and the more they spread out. They started to dread the children of Israel. 13 The Egyptians ruthlessly made the children of Israel serve. 14 And they made their lives bitter with hard service, in mortar and in brick, and in all kinds of service in the field, all their service, in which they ruthlessly made them serve. 15 The king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, of whom the name of the one was Shifra, and the name of the other Pua. 16 And he said, When you perform the duty of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them on the birth stool, if it is a son, then you shall kill him, but if it is a daughter, then she shall live. 17 But the midwives feared God, and didn't do what the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the baby boys alive. 2 Pharaoh commanded all his people, saying, You shall cast every son who is born into the river, and every daughter you shall save alive. Exodus 2 1 A man of the house of Levi went and took a daughter of Levi as his wife. 2 The woman conceived, and bore a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him three months. 3 When she could no longer hide him, she took a papyrus basket for him, and coated it with tar and with pitch. She put the child in it, and laid it in the reeds by the river's bank. For his sister stood far off, to see what would be done to him. Five Pharaoh's daughter came down to bathe at the river. Her maidens walked along by the riverside. She saw the basket among the reeds, and sent her servant to get it. Exodus 3 8 I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Perizzite, the Amorite, and the Hivite, the Jergeshite, too, and the Jebusite. 9 Now, behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, moreover I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppress them. 10 Come now therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. 11 Moses said to God, Who am I, that I should go to Pharaoh, and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? 12 He said, Certainly I will be with you. This will be the token to you, that I have sent you, when you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. 13 Moses said to God, Behold, when I come to the children of Israel, and tell them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name, what should I tell them? 14 God said to Moses, I am who I am, and he said, You shall tell the children of Israel this, I am has sent me to you. 15 God said moreover to Moses, You shall tell the children of Israel this, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. 16 Go and gather the elders of Israel together, and tell them, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, has appeared to me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. 18 They will listen to your voice, and you shall come, you and the elders of Israel, to the king of Egypt, and you shall tell him, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. 
Now please let us go three days journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to Yahweh, our God. 19 I know that the king of Egypt won't give you permission to go, no, not by a mighty hand. 20 I will reach out my hand and strike Egypt with all my wonders which I will do among them, and after that he will let you go. 21 I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it will happen that when you go, you shall not go empty-handed. Exodus 4 For Yahweh said to Moses, Stretch out your hand, and take it by the tail. He stretched out his hand, and took hold of it, and it became a rod in his hand. 5 This is so that they may believe that Yahweh, the God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has appeared to you. 6 Yahweh said furthermore to him, Now put your hand inside your cloak. He put his hand inside his cloak, and when he took it out from his cloak, behold, his hand was leprous, as white as snow. 7 He said, Put your hand inside his cloak again. He put his hand inside his cloak again, and when he took it out of his cloak, behold, it had turned again as his other flesh. 8 It will happen, if they will not believe you or listen to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. 9 It will happen, if they will not believe even these two signs or listen to your voice, that you shall take of the water of the river, and pour it on the dry land. The water which you take out of the river will become blood on the dry land. 26 So he let him alone. Then she said, You are a bridegroom of blood, because of the circumcision. 27 Yahweh said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. He went, and met him on God's mountain, and kissed him. 28 Moses told Aaron all Yahweh's words with which he had sent him, and all the signs with which he had instructed him. 29 Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel. 30 Aaron spoke all the words which Yahweh had spoken to Moses, and did the signs in the sight of the people. 31 The people believed, and when they heard that Yahweh had visited the children of Israel, and that he had seen their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped. Exodus 5 One afterward Moses and Aaron came, and said to Pharaoh, This is what Yahweh, the God of Israel, says, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. 3 They said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Please let us go three days' journey into the wilderness, and sacrifice to Yahweh, our God, lest he fall on us with pestilence, or with the sword. For the king of Egypt said to them, Why do you, Moses and Aaron, take the people from their work? Get back to your burdens. 5 Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land are now many, and you make them rest from their burdens. 6 The same day Pharaoh commanded the taskmasters of the people, and their officers, saying, 7 You shall no longer give the people straw to make brick, as before. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. 8 The number of the bricks, which they made before, you require from them. You shall not diminish anything of it, for they are idle, therefore they cry, saying, Let's go and sacrifice to our God. 9 Let heavier work be laid on the men, that they may labor in it, and don't let them pay any attention to lying words. 10 The taskmasters of the people went out, and their officers, and they spoke to the people, saying, This is what Pharaoh says, I will not give you straw. 11 Go yourselves, get straw where you can find it, for nothing of your work shall be diminished. 12 So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble for straw. 13 The taskmasters were urgent saying, Fulfill your work quota daily, as when there was straw given to you. 14 The officers of the children of Israel, whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten, and were asked, Why haven't you fulfilled your quota both yesterday and today, in making brick as before? 15 Then the officers of the children of Israel came and cried to Pharaoh, saying, Why do you deal this way with your servants? 16 No straw is given to your servants, and they tell us, Make brick, and behold, your servants are beaten, but the fault is in your own people. 17 But Pharaoh said, You are idle. You are idle. Therefore you say, Let's go and sacrifice to Yahweh. Exodus 6 for I have also established my covenant with them, to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their travels, 
in which they lived as aliens. 5. Moreover I have heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. 6. Therefore tell the children of Israel, I am Yahweh, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm, and with great judgments. 7. I will take you to myself for a people. I will be your God, and you shall know that I am Yahweh your God, who brings you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. 8. I will bring you into the land which I swore to give to Abraham, and I will give it to you for a heritage, I am Yahweh. 9. Moses spoke so to the children of Israel, but they didn't listen to Moses for anguish of spirit, and for cruel bondage. 10. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, 11. Go in, speak to Pharaoh king of Egypt, that he let the children of Israel go out of his land. 12. Moses spoke before Yahweh, saying, Behold, the children of Israel haven't listened to me. How then shall Pharaoh listen to me, who am of uncircumcised lips? 13. Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, and gave them a command to the children of Israel, and to Pharaoh king of Egypt, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. 14. These are the heads of their fathers' houses. The sons of Reuben the firstborn of Israel. Hanuk, and Palu, Hezron, and Carmi, these are the families of Reuben. 15 The sons of Simeon, Jemuel, and Jamin, and Ohad, and Jachin, and Zohar, and Shal the son of a Canaanite woman, these are the families of Simeon. 16 These are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations, Gershon, and Kohath, and Merari, and the years of the life of Levi were 137 years. 17 The sons of Gershon, Libni and Shimi, according to their families. 18 The sons of Kohath, Amram, and Azar, and Hebron, and Uziel, and the years of the life of Kohath were 133 years. 19 The sons of Merari, Mali and Mushi, these are the families of the Levites according to their generations. 20 Amram took Jochebed his father's sister to himself as wife, and she bore him Aaron and Moses. The years of the life of Amram were 137 years. 21 The sons of Azar, Korah, and Nepheg, and Zikri. 25 Eliezer Aaron's son took one of the daughters of Pudiel as his wife, and she bore him Phinehas. These are the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites according to their families. Exodus 7. 5 The Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh, when I stretch out my hand on Egypt, and bring out the children of Israel from among them. 6 Moses and Aaron did so. As Yahweh commanded them, so they did. 7 Moses was 80 years old, and Aaron 83 years old, when they spoke to Pharaoh. 8 Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, 9 When Pharaoh speaks to you, saying, Perform a miracle, then you shall tell Aaron, Take your rod, and cast it down before Pharaoh, that it become a serpent. 10 Moses and Aaron went into Pharaoh, and they did so, as Yahweh had commanded, and Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. 11 Then Pharaoh also called for the wise men and the sorcerers. They also, the magicians of Egypt, did the same thing with their enchantments. 12 For they each cast down their rods, and they became serpents, but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. 13 Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he didn't listen to them, as Yahweh had spoken. 15 Go to Pharaoh in the morning. Behold, he goes out to the water, and you shall stand by the river's bank to meet him, and the rod which was turned to a serpent you shall take in your hand. 16 You shall tell him, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, has sent me to you, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness, and behold, until now you haven't listened. 17 Yahweh says, In this you shall know that I am Yahweh. Behold, I will strike with the rod that is in my hand on the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. 18 The fish that are in the river shall die, and the river shall become foul, and the Egyptians shall loathe to drink water from the river. 19 Yahweh said to Moses, Tell Aaron, Take your rod, and stretch out your hand over the waters of Egypt, over their rivers, over their streams, and over their pools, and over all their ponds of water, that they may become blood, 
and there shall be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. Twenty Moses and Aaron did so, as Yahweh commanded, and he lifted up the rod, and struck the waters that were in the river, in the sight of Pharaoh, and in the sight of his servants, and all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Exodus 8. 24 Yahweh did so, and there came grievous swarms of flies into the house of Pharaoh, and into his servants' houses. In all the land of Egypt the land was corrupted by reason of the swarms of flies. 25 Pharaoh called for Moses and for Aaron, and said, Go, sacrifice to your God in the land. 26 Moses said, It isn't appropriate to do so, for we shall sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians to Yahweh our God. Behold, if we sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians before their eyes, won't they stone us? Exodus 9. 8 Yahweh said to Moses and to Aaron, Take to you handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it toward the sky in the sight of Pharaoh. 1. This reading matches the LXX and Acts 7 verse 14. 2. This reading matches the LXX and the Samaritan Pentateuch. For Q13 Exodus B. Language, Hebrew. Date, 30 BC, 68 AD Location, Qumran Cave 4. Exodus 1, 1 Now these are the names of the sons of Israel, who came into Egypt, every man and his household came with Jacob their father. 3 Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph and Benjamin. 5 All the souls who came out of Jacob's body were seventy-five souls, 6 Joseph died, as did all his brothers, and all that generation. 16 And he said, When you perform the duty of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them on the birth stool, if it is a son, then you shall kill him, but if it is a daughter, then she shall live. 17 But the midwives feared God, and didn't do what the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the baby boys alive. 18 The king of Egypt called for the Hebrew midwives, and said to them, Why have you done this thing, and have saved the boys alive? 19 The midwives said to Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women aren't like the Egyptian women, for they are vigorous, and give birth before the midwife comes to them. 20 God dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied, and grew very mighty. 21 Because the midwives feared God, he gave them families. Exodus 2 2 The woman conceived, and bore a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him three months. 3 When she could no longer hide him, she took a papyrus basket for him, and coated it with tar and with pitch. She put the child in it, and said to her maidservant, Go, and laid it in the reeds by the river's bank. For his sister stood far off, to see what would be done to him. 5 Pharaoh's daughter came down to bathe at the river. Her maidens walked along by the riverside. She saw the basket among the reeds, and sent her servant to get it. 6 She opened it, and saw the child, and behold, the baby cried. Pharaoh's daughter had compassion on him, and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. 7 Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Should I go and call a nurse for you from the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for you? 8 Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. The young woman went and called the child's mother. 9 Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away, and nurse him for me, and I will give you your wages. The woman took the child, and nursed it. 10 The child grew, and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. She named him Moses, and said, Because I drew him out of the water. 11 After those many days, when Moses had grown up, he went out to his brothers, and looked at their burdens. He saw an Egyptian striking a Hebrew, one of his brothers. 12 He looked this way and that way, and when he saw that there was no one, he killed the Egyptian, and hid him in the sand. 13 He went out the second day, and saw and behold, two men of the Hebrews were fighting with each other. He said to him who did the wrong, Why do you strike your fellow? 14 He said to him, Who made you a prince and a judge over us? Do you plan to kill me, as you killed the Egyptian? Moses was very afraid, and said, Surely this thing is known. 15 Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to kill Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh, 
and lived in the land of Midian, and he sat down by a well. 16 Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, shepherdesses of his flock. They came and drew water, and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. 17 The shepherds came and drove them away, but Moses stood up and helped them, and watered their flock. 18 When they came to Ruel, their father, he said, How is it that you have returned so early today? Exodus 3 13 Moses said to God, Behold, when I come to the children of Israel, and tell them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name, what should I tell them? 14 God said to Moses, I am who I am, and he said, You shall tell the children of Israel this, I am has sent me to you. 15 God said moreover to Moses, You shall tell the children of Israel this, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. 16 Go and gather the elders of the children of Israel together, and tell them, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has appeared to me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. 17 And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt to the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite and the Girgashite, to a land flowing with milk and honey. 18 They will listen to your voice, and you shall come, you and the elders of the children of Israel, to the king of Egypt, and you shall tell him, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. Now please let us go three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to Yahweh, our God. 19 I know that the king of Egypt won't give you permission to go, except by a mighty hand. 20 I will reach out my hand and strike Egypt with all my wonders which I will do among them, and after that he will let you go. 21 And thus I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it will happen that when you go, you shall not go empty-handed. Exodus 4 1 Moses answered, But, behold, they will not believe me, nor listen to my voice, for they will say, Yahweh has not appeared to you. 3 He said, Throw it, then, on the ground. He threw it on the ground, and it became a snake, and Moses ran away from it. For Yahweh said to Moses, Stretch out your hand, and take it by the tail. He stretched out his hand, and took hold of it, and it became a rod in his hand. 5 This is so that they may believe that Yahweh, the God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has appeared to you. 6 Yahweh said furthermore to him, Now put your hand inside your cloak. He put his hand inside his cloak, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous, as white as snow. 7 He said, Put your hand inside your cloak again. He put his hand inside his cloak again, and when he took it out of his cloak, behold, it had turned again as his other flesh. 8 So that, if they will not believe you or listen to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. Exodus 5 3 They said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Please let us go three days' journey into the wilderness, and sacrifice to Yahweh, our God, lest he fall on us with pestilence, or with the sword. For the king of Egypt said to them, Why do you, Moses and Aaron, take the people from their work? Get back to your burdens. 5 Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land are now many, and you make them rest from their burdens. 6 The same day Pharaoh commanded the taskmasters of the people, and their officers, saying, 7 You shall no longer give the people straw to make brick, as before. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. 8 The number of the bricks, which they made before, you require from them. You shall not diminish anything of it, for they are idle, therefore they cry, saying, Let's go and sacrifice to our God. 9 Let heavier work be laid on the men, that they may labor in it, and don't let them pay any attention to lying words. 10 The taskmasters of the people went out, and their officers, and they spoke to the people, saying, This is what Pharaoh says, I will not give you straw. 11 Go yourselves, and get straw where you can find it, for nothing of your work shall be diminished. 
12 So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble for straw. 13 The taskmasters were urgent saying, Fulfill your work quota daily, as when there was straw given to you. 14 The officers of the children of Israel, whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten, and were asked, Why haven't you fulfilled your quota both yesterday and today, in making brick as before?